What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we'll be talking about volume. Now I know most of us out there, since we're in pandemic currently, are playing in our rooms or in our apartments. So volume is pretty important that we keep it low. But the magic really happens when you get to an open space, crank up the volume, the amp blooms, and everything just sounds way better. So today we'll look at apartment volume versus loud volume. Let's go. So before we dive into this video, let's talk about the rig. As usual, I am playing my Gibson Les Paul 59 reissue in all its glory with 10 and a half to 48 gate strength on it. And now the most important part of this volume talk is the amp. Let's check it out. So this is today's amp of choice, my Wellagen Overdrive Special, which is my baby, my favorite amp all custom made to my spec with the voicing. It's just a dream to own and play this amp. So currently, as you can see, we have first volume at about six, treble and bass off, rock switch on, treble on about four, mids just below five, and bass on four, overdrive channel, overdrive on six, volume just past five, Currently, you have the master volume high, around six, and presence on about four. Speaker in the amp is a Celestion 150 watt red back that just sounds incredible. So the idea is, well, check out how I play this amp in my apartment with the same settings, but just altering the master volume. Then we'll open the master volume back up to around six, seven, and you'll see how the amp reacts and sounds just way better to the playing. So let's dive into the video. Also, for the video today, we're in the overdrive channel of the amp because when you're playing an overdrive special, you play the overdrive channel, right? Yeah, so let's go. So we're all plugged in, as you can see, Les Paul into overdrive special to my right. And the settings for this whole video will be the same. As mentioned before, treble around four, mids, around five and bass around four. All we're changing today's video is the master volume so we see how much of a difference it makes to the tone. So here is the master volume on three where I usually play in my apartment. Now that's already Tone of the Gods, right? Even you can back it up to volume around six on the guitar. That's a great tone. It may sound bigger in here because I'm in a bigger space, as you can see, not in my usual area. So that's already a great tone, right? Let's go to the next pickup and you can see more. Back up the volume. Tone of the Gods, right? So now, let's bring this master volume a little higher to about, let's say, five. 
and you can see now how the air may seem less compressed and just more open and the notes will bloom more. Right? Just sounds way bigger. Also, what you're not getting on the camera is how the notes feel, right? How it just... The notes under your fingers just sound like, man, balls to the wall, right? Man, that's incredible. Now, let's put the master volume just a little higher. Let's say five and a half, right? Now the amp really comes to life, in my opinion. That is the tone, I think. There's not a lot of gain. Well, there is gain, it's about around six, but it's open, it's not compressed, right? My enemy, in my opinion, is compression. I like everything to be open, so you can have that ability to go from super distorted, right? Bring back the volume to about seven. Clean tone, right? I'll crank it up. We go a little farther, master volume seven, and now in some, some cases the end may be too loud, but if you watch Joe Bonamassa's rig rundown when he's Dumbles and Fender Twins, he's keeping his Dumbles at about seven, loud. They're cooking, right? Right? 
Go to the next pickup. Go in the middle. Pick softly, even if you're on time, pick softly. Nice clean tone. Go back to the bridge pickup. I think I'm deaf, but in the name of tone, it's all worth it. I forgot to do an outro, so here's the outro. All right, guys, that is today's video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a super fun one to do in the studio today, especially being able to open the Overdrive Special up to about seven on the master volume, and the amp really comes alive and becomes a totally different animal. In my opinion, when on stage for a gig, you may have to have a little more volume than necessary because I think it's finding the perfect amount of volume so that you have maximum dynamics on your guitar. So when you're on 10, you may be louder than everybody, but, the, but then again, the energy may need more volume, but you also have the ability to bring the volume on your guitar back down and get a clean tone. So I think it's finding the right balance between too much volume and maybe too little volume, just finding the perfect balance that is too much, but using your volume control on your, on your guitar, you can bring it back down and fit into the mix. So if you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments below. Press like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.